but still, in many cases, OCD patients have a hard time controlling their obsessive behaviors as they wish. Even with a complete understanding on their symptoms based on the portion of brain science we have discussed in the previous chapter, people with severe symptoms experience trouble stopping their obsessive behaviors. However, you must control your obsessive behaviors to undo your obsessive thoughts. Your obsessive behaviors are the fuel that is sustaining your vicious circle. I told you that you have to deal both with your obsessive behaviors and the root causes of such behaviors. Stopping your obsessive behaviors is the first and foremost step, the most important behavioral index that you must take to fix your OCD. To stop obsessive behaviors, you must change the stimuli your orbital frontal cortex is receiving. Finding the right methodology to do this has been the key to recovery to many patients of mine. From the outside, it tends to look like a problem of caudate nucleus, your gear system. However, the real problem might be your orbital frontal cortex, the part of brain that passes information to caudate nucleus so that you can make decision on whether or not to move on and do something else. The reason why you have a hard time stopping your obsessive behaviors, even with the scientific information on your brain, is because your understanding does not involve emotions. Our system of error detection is the one that combines thoughts and emotions. If we say that our thoughts are information, our emotions can be regarded as energy. If our thoughts are needless, our emotions are threats. The point is that you need both of these to make an accurate decision. This is the reason why the connection between thoughts and emotions is the most important. This is what is happening inside your orbital frontal cortex. This is why you are likely to experience a relief of symptoms if reading this causes you a lot of emotional turbulence. Orbital frontal cortex detects errors distinguishes right from wrong, and make decision whether to proceed or evade. Your orbital frontal cortex, not being able to provide a criteria for judgment, is likely to be the starting point of your problem. That's the reason why we need to clarify the process your orbital frontal cortex is creating such criteria and fix the step in the process that is causing you trouble as that might be the epicentral of your OCD. Between thoughts and emotions, OCD patients tend to suppress emotions, certain emotions. This causes malfunction in the parts of their brain that makes decision on whether or not to move on and do something else. It is like having a hole in their bag of emotions. It is like having a needle but not a thread. People need thoughts and emotions at the same time to make a right decision. Codate nucleus cannot make a right decision without emotions. This, not being able to change your gear, is the reason why you keep repeating the same behaviors. Your obsessive behaviors are the reaction to instinctive emotions like terror, anxiety, and fear that your cingulate gyrus is feeling. Your obsessive behaviors become the sole and the most important thing because these reactions are too strong. Ordinary people will discern the situation with appropriate emotions, move on and do something else. People with OCD cannot because their appropriate feelings are being suppressed. When you have OCD, your specific emotions supporting your sense of judgment and importance are suppressed and hidden. These emotions are exactly what you need the most to go about your daily lives. Fear tends to overwhelm these specific emotions in orbital frontal cortex as it is a very strong instinctive emotion. This is why you cannot move on and do something else. I have seen many cases of OCD patients not being able to feel emotions as they try too much to rationalize and suppress their emotions. 
they refuse to feel. At times, their suppressed emotions are materialized as somatic symptoms. There must be a reason why you had to suppress your emotions too. There must be a reason that made you make judgment based on thought, not emotions. We need to find out why you decided to do so. It is the reason why it became a terrifying thing for you to feel your suppressed emotions. It is the reason why you voluntarily removed your energy, your emotions, that propels you to move on and do something else. We tend to discern rational thoughts and emotional reactions. However, in the field of brain science, there aren't many differences between these two. Of course, there are parts of brain that are in charge of each, but they send out highly integrated electric signals as their functions are intricately intermingled. This means that thoughts and emotions are integrated and utilized in a widely spread neural network, other than being utilized in separate parts of a human brain. The functions emotions serve are to filter information and to label them. Emotions divide the cognitive world we are experiencing into two categories and prioritize information, sorting out the things we need to focus on and the things we can safely ignore. In other words, they help us to determine the importance. Emotions help us to discern things that we need to pay attention by prioritizing. Their function is to filter information for our survival and to help us make decisions. We don't make decisions solely based on our reasons. It isn't right to do so anyways. Reason is not the only principle that is governing the world we are living in. Generally speaking, neuroses are cognitive states with leftover emotions and missing thoughts, the cause of such emotions. That's why we use those leftover emotions to find out the lost thoughts to relieve the symptoms of ordinary neuroses. On the contrary, OCD is a state with thoughts but without emotions that should accompany these thoughts. Both the origin of your problem and the starting point of your recovery are the emotions suppressed. This being so, reviving the suppressed specific emotions tend to be the focal point of OCD treatments. I mentioned that having OCD is like having a water leakage or a hole in a balloon that you cannot do anything with. You must be equipped with a needle of thoughts and a thread of emotions to seal this bridge. It is only when the bridge is sealed, a proper healing process can begin. You can relieve symptoms only after revealing concealed emotions of yours and making repairs. Like what I mentioned above, this means that OCD symptoms should be treated first. I will go into more details in the next chapter.